Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 14th, 2020. Yesterday, we had some nasty selling after Jerome Powell came on and warned of lasting uh, and damaging impacts uh, to the economy. Had a little selling, we pushed down toward the 50 day moving average here on the diamonds. But what does that mean for today's market? How about we settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we've got kind of an interesting market. We we had a rather volatile um, overnight session in the futures. And um, earlier this morning, we were trying to push up into positive prints in the Dow futures. Um, but here over the last oh 20 30 minutes we've kind of started slipping south um, on those numbers right now as i'm speaking dow futures are now pointing to a 120 point gap down but we've been kind of dancing around in here all over the place so anything is possible by the open um, right now let's take a look at what we've got going on now as you can see i've got drawn in here a rather significant level of price support in this chart if we back this off over here there's um, evidence all across here how important this level might be and this is also happens to be where we could see that 50-day moving average as a matter of fact i'm going to adjust that line down just a tiny little bit and just draw it right there on that 50. so right there we have that 50-day moving average now the good news is that 50-day moving average is trying to um turn itself up so we've got this little flattening out starting to occur in there so that's some good news but all even though we're gapping down here this morning there is a little bit of concern that we could lose that level of support and then drift on into um, kind of a big uh, potential move lower a big hole here um as you know yesterday I, I mentioned this i put this on here goldman sachs has, has suggested that we're going to see a 20 percent pullback in the market over the next three months and i just i just put it on the chart here just as kind of a, a reminder that they've done that and let's just to see how good they are at predicting um those kind of things that far out in the future one thing that i would say here is if we do drop through this level there is another little price level right in here where we could find some support if we happen to slip through there and then we have other levels of support in here that could hold us as well as we start moving on down in uh, this process now why would i even be talking about that why would i even want to consider that we're going to slip through that 50 and keep on going well let's take a look at the spy spy is quite a ways from its 50-day moving average and it is entirely possible that we could find some support right in here and hold right in this area but if the pressure really comes on in the market, say, for example, we get that jobs number today and the pressure really comes on, it really wouldn't be all that much of a stretch to see us pushing down in here toward that 50 day moving average here in the spy so kind of keep in mind that, that certainly is possible and if we get the spy pushing down through there i would suspect that it is going to push um, the dow even further so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully if this happens to slip into that area right there now keep in mind um, if we hold that area we're in good shape here on the spy if we were to fail that area next level of support would be down in here and by the way down right down in here is that goldman prediction on where the market may go over the next three months so keep an eye on that we've got a little bearishness here in the market and a little bit of uncertainty maybe as we head into the weekend let's take a look at the cues now the nasdaq um, clearly is in a much better situation than the rest of the indexes um, it it rallied 
uh, so much. It, it was kind of extraordinary how much it rallied, to tell you the truth. And as you can see, we're holding on. We caught some support right in here. We broke through it, rallied back up, but we caught support right in there. We do have some price support right in this area as well. Um, in that chart that actually extends right on through over here so fairly significant level of price support right there if we were to happen to break that if the sellers really start taking over there's still plenty of price support in here before we come anywhere close to our 50-day moving average now other indexes could certainly pull us down there, but we'll, I suspect um, we would catch some kind of a bounce well before we ever made an attempt down into here. We'd see some kind of lower high. So Q is in a really good shape and, and is likely going to be the index that has the chance of holding us up overall so let's keep an eye on that 50-day moving average as you can see trying to turn back up it hasn't crossed over that 200 yet back up but could soon do do that and what that means is that we are placing in here a pretty nice level of price support with that 250-day moving average right there in the same area let's take a look at iwm now iwm pulled back and missed its 50-day moving average by just a few ticks and um, certainly not um, holding up all that well but we did manage at the end of the day to hold onto that 50-day moving average in this price support level right here in the chart now if today we happen to drop through that level if those sellers come back on and push on down we have a level of price support right in here that i would be watching to try and catch us for a potential bounce back up hopefully that doesn't occur but that is always a possibility and we want to make sure that we're always paying attention to what price action is telling us in these charts let's take a look at the vix now the vix had a pretty substantial bounce up yesterday as you can see and a um, little fear kind of came into the market here all of a sudden there's that break of that downturn that I talked about the last couple of days now that's not going to be significant until we prove to hold that as support if we bounce up through here break that resistance and end up holding above here as support that could be a real problem and that's where real selling can start coming into uh, the market keep a close eye on that now if i put a few lines here on the chart you can see we do have a price resistance level right in here um, up here in that that 36 area so we do have some price resistance that could help us here in holding that uh, down and of course if we do rally even more than that if we do hold notice we've got that 50-day moving average up here as well that could provide some resistance and price resistance to be considering in this chart so potentially some upside a little bit of fear coming into the market and we have um an, an earnings season that's starting to wind down and as that earnings season winds down we have fewer and fewer things that can really inspire us to move higher and then we end up focusing a little bit more on those economic numbers and none of those economic numbers are expected to be good unfortunately and um, Friday is a big day today so we'll want to kind of be really focused on um, this price action here over the next couple of days as we head into the weekend and that uncertainty that seems to be um, brewing back up uh, bubbling back to the surface um, uh, uncertainty of um, what reopening the economy is going to look like whether or not there's going to be a resurgence of the virus all these different things out there creating some issues also there's some tension starting to build well I shouldn't say starting to build there's been tensions with China for a long long time but those tensions are growing this morning with the FBI warning that there was a governmental uh, Chinese government launched a cyber attack against um, anyone doing um, research on the coronavirus here in the United States attempting to steal um, research and data on possible cures um, or possible treatments now 
Um, they are warning um, all U.S. companies to uh, that are doing work in that area to beef up their security. And um, obviously with um, the Trump administration kind of being rough on China anyway, that could really toss us into some uncertainty as well. If if we start noticing these cyber attacks uh, continuously happening in those attempts to steal data, I got to think that's going to um, inspire the president to step up here and maybe increase his rhetoric against that. That would also create a little bit of tension. So we'll want to pay attention to that news if that continues to to develop. Um, FBI has asked everyone to report um, those um, attacks um, as quickly as they can to the FBI so that they can pursue um, that um, carefully. So let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. Now, this gives us a little bit of encouragement. T2122 has reached down here into that bullish reversal zone. So, we're down here where we're kind of stretched out to the downside. Now, right now, as I look at the Dow futures, you would think that's not the case. We're looking at a 155 point gap down. But we could gap down this morning. Um, we get that pop down and then start that rally um, off of there we get that little bit of a recovery now of course that jobs number could be a little bit different and one of the things that's created these big whippy situations is we were a market of all or nothing we can't have any stability in price action right now um, we all know that this rally that we created where the uh, the the Nasdaq rallied almost all the way back up uh, to all-time highs uh, just really was ridiculous. Um, we have pressed and pressed and pressed this rally to a ridiculous extent. And so is it possible we could press the sell-off to a ridiculous extent? Yes. Um, but let's watch this closely down in here. We have reached that area where we could get that nice little bounce up out of here. So let's stay focused on the possibility. Just stay focused on the price action. That's going to give us the best clues of how we navigate forward. So with that, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has some things on here that we're going to want to pay attention to. First off, we have the jobless claims this morning. Right now, consensus is suggesting that we're going to have about 2.5 million more added to the 33 million or so already unemployed. What's been amazing so far is the market has absolutely ignored it. Um, uh, the unemployment situation, we, we get an unemployment number, the market rallies. We've absolutely ignored that. I don't know how much longer they can continue to do that, but we'll watch, wait and see um, how they react to that number today. And it's possible that number could come in better or worse than expected. And so we'll have to uh, watch that closely. We do have import export prices that will be um, also before the market opens this morning. Um, we'll want to pay attention to that, but it's not as likely to move the market um, like that jobless claims. Natural gas report we have a 20 year bond announcement. 20 year bond announcement um, that's going off today that could maybe have some impacts. Um, and then we see um, a Fed balance sheet um, here today. I doubt anyone cares about that. We know the Fed balance sheet is spiking, 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 um, going higher and higher and higher. Debt doesn't seem to matter to the market anymore as long as they keep passing money to to uh, stocks. So keep an eye on that. We do have three Fed speakers today we'll want to pay attention to. I doubt we learn anything new, but we'll want to pay attention to that and just realize they are out there talking. Tomorrow is going to be an interesting situation. So remember this, um, as you kind of wrap up your day today, think about what could occur tomorrow morning. We have retail sales tomorrow morning. That is not expected to be a good number. Empire State Manufacturing, Industrial Production, Business inventories, consumer sentiment, and the jobs, uh, jobs report, job openings report. So, oh my gosh, we got a big day of data today, tomorrow, and I doubt any of it is expected to be good data. So kind of keep that in mind as we head into Friday and slide into this weekend.
plan your risk carefully. So with that, everyone, um, how about we take a look at what we've got going on on earnings today. On the earnings calendar today, we have a big day. We have a, one, our biggest day this week, about 300 companies reporting earnings, but a lot of those are really small cap companies and really not particularly notable companies because we're really winding down this earnings season. However, we have AMAT reporting uh, today. We'll want to pay attention to that. That's probably one of our most notables here um, to pay attention to. And if we take a look at this chart, we have a pretty decent chart um, working here. We've got a trend going on. We've been pushing a resistance level in this chart and we're holding in this trend. If we get a good report here, the possibility of this breaking to the upside um, is obviously strong. If um, uh, that happens to report poorly, we might break that trend. So keep an eye on AMAT, something to watch. Um, ACB, we got a little cannabis. I'm going to report this morning. It looks like, well, no report here yet. Um, obviously, ACB has not been looking too good. Been in a um, terrible, terrible downtrend here. Um, not looking good here at all. Um, maybe... Um, Maybe they can provide a good report and bounce us up out of here. Um, I don't know. Uh, BAM, B-A-M, also reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that one. Looks like it's indicating maybe just a tiny little bit lower here this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Denny's. Denny's. Well, so far, no Grand Slam here on Denny's. Um, kind of looking like it's ready to open about where it closed. I'm not sure what time this reports, but we'll want to keep an eye on it. NOLK will be, whoops, NOLK, did I type that wrong? N L O K. there we go. No, I've got a symbol. Um, I've got a problem in my document I need to check here. I apologize, guys. Um, um, may not... I'm not getting that symbol to pull up. So I must have uh, typed something incorrectly in my report this morning. I'll have to check that. I apologize. Uh, PBR. Um, not the beer. Not the PBR beer, but um, oil. Oil, PBR. Um, we have a, a report going in this today. Um, oil has been holding up pretty well, but you can see we're struggling here a little bit in PBR. So keep an eye on that one. SSYS also reporting this morning we'll keep an eye on that one and wix again some of these are just not what i would expect to be major market moving um, stocks so kind of keep that in mind but uh, wix moving up sharply here this morning on its earnings report apparently lots of websites being uh, built during the coronavirus everybody staying home building websites um, let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Over 800 videos now on the YouTube channel. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who has been um, clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments. You guys are helping the channel grow. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, um, uh, humbled by this, the support of uh, the effort of putting out these videos every day. Thank you, everyone. You guys are awesome. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And I added some stocks to the list yesterday um, that I want to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at Mo. Now, Mo right in here, Altria has been struggling. You can see we had this little double top. Actually, I call this a bearish M pattern. We broke that support. And now we've tried to rally back here into resistance. What I've got going here on Mo is I'm actually watching this as a potential of a short and I would be looking for that maybe to retest these lows down here so I've got an alert right in here that pink line on this chart 
um, watching this. We have pretty bearish pattern going on here in Altria. Watch that one carefully uh, for a potential trade. SQ is one I've been keeping an eye on and SQ uh, pulling back um, yesterday but bounced up nicely off of trend. Keep an eye on this one. SQ holding this nice trend. It's looking to open right in this area and I've actually turned this entire line right here into a potential alert. This could continue to slide sideways over here a little bit over toward the trend but we might want to be watching that for that possibility that we pop through this area of resistance and continue to head on higher pay systems is ha have held up pretty well and sq is looking pretty darn good one more uh, pay system here looking pretty good is paypal paypal gapped on its earnings report sliding sideways here i've placed an alert up here on this chart watching it closely i fully expect this to continue to kind of slide over toward trend but let's watch that up there for that possibility that that may pop on through and head on up take a look at wayfair wayfair just popped on its earnings report holding its trend beautifully showing really tons and tons of strength i guess everybody's buying home products uh during the coronavirus and breaking out to all-time new highs here in wayfair what's going on that i see here is this beautiful consolidating move after the earnings report and we're slipping right over here into trend this is right in the place where we pop off of this move so i want to see if that's an opportunity for that to pop on up right there um, on that chart if you like biotechs now i'll tell you honestly i don't trade biotechs they just tend to be so volatile and whip around on news reports i just avoid them but if you're interested in a biotech regn beautiful setup nice little pop-up here holding a trend uh, place an alert on that just to kind of watch it for other folks here but keep an eye on regen nice looking little chart there to keep an eye on last but not least um teva teva um a pharma here um had a big sell-off yesterday but look at this huge recovery um that occurred by the end of the day and it's looking to open right in here something's happening here with that big recovery so i want to watch this for that opportunity that that could maybe follow through to the upside and maybe pop on through take keep an eye on tv teva so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits thanks everyone for being here this morning be safe have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early for the Friday morning, morning market prep. Take care, everyone.